In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a waterfall chart in a Crystal Excel CS dashboard. And you'll be surprised at exactly how easy it is. And I've got this uh, Excel model up just to show you what my data looks like before we get started. I've got a very a basic table that's uh, kind of column oriented, meaning that the metrics are going down in one column. And of course, I've got label names here, products A through E. I've saved this, and I'm going to go ahead and import this as an Excel model. So I'll just pop this in here. Now once it goes in there, I'm going to go to Components, and I'm going to select Stack Column Chart. Now it's important that you select Stack Column Chart because this is the tool that will actually make your waterfall chart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Properties of the Stack Column Chart and I'm going to select the data range cell reference I and I'm going to go ahead and select the cells that I'm going to link back to the chart now page and base Now pay attention to the chart. You'll see here that it basically split them out uh, in east, evenly spaced. Now pay attention to the chart here. You'll see that this particular stack column chart. Now you want to pay attention to your chart. Now you'll want to pay attention to your chart because uh, you'll want to make sure that your Now you'll want to pay attention to the chart to make sure that your data items go up in one stack. In this case, it didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from columns to rows, making sure that all my data items are stacked. Now I know it looks a little funky now, but it's good, that's going to change here in a second. Now what I'm going to do here is go to the Appearance tab, make sure that I'm in the Series Sub tab, and there's a section here called Plot Settings. In that section, there's a property called bar overlap. I'm going to change that bar overlap property to zero. When I do that, I've got this effect that makes it look like that all oh, some of the some of the uh, data items are floating, kind of like a waterfall chart. Now it's just basically a case of kind of formatting it. You can mess with the bar gap property to make it look like a um, you know pretty decent sized looking chart. So that's a waterfall chart. Now a lot of people like to put a total column here, a column that basically shows the total uh, of all these particular data items. Now to do this, I'm going to have to create a dummy item here in my table. So I'm going to insert a column or insert a row, type in total, and then I've got the cell here. I'm going to actually leave that cell blank. This is going to be a dummy cell that I'm not going to fill in. And then I'm going to create another series and call it the total series. Now the total series will only have one number in it and that number is going to consist of the sum of all these other numbers. And the rest of the cells are going to leave, I'm going to leave blank as dummy cells also. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some borders around it so I can show you that I basically expanded out my data table, the table that I'm going to feed my chart with. So again, once I import my model, I can go to Components here, select the Stack Column Chart. Once I do that, double click on it, go down to Data Range, select the cells that I want my chart to represent. And again, you're going to select the whole table, press OK. It's most likely going to give you a broken out version of your waterfall chart, but you can fix that by clicking on Data Range and then Rows. And again, I've got units and total. Units is the broken down version of all the products and total is the total uh, sum. Go to the appearance tab, go to bar overlap and click on or type in zero and hit enter. That's going to make sure that your bars don't have any overlap at all giving it the floating bar effect. And then you can go ahead and start formatting some stuff. Uh, let's do this. Let's expand this out, change the bar gap to 10 just so I get these things closer and I'm gonna go ahead and check use custom color that's gonna allow me to change the colors of these series the particular series I'm looking for is the total series I'm gonna change that to white make sure that this has a, a uniquely different color than the rest of it now it's just all formatting 
And there you have it, your waterfall chart.